Where is the there, last savable person? I don't know. I've only found the one. And then I got distracted fighting wasps. Wait, you rescued one? I rescued one, yeah. Oh, okay. Then I think that should be all of them. Huh. I don't know. Whatever. I'm getting in this car. <laughs> yep. Does the car have a gun on it? Yes. Well, that's good. Carry on. Oh, there's a tank over here, too. I assume there will be Hectors or something if they're going to give us a tank. I decided to come back. You're still after that honey? I'm what you call a foodie, you know? Just honey. <laughs> don't you generally cook something with the honey rather than yeah. just eat it? Just, you don't do just giant pawfuls of honey Winnie the Pooh style? Not usually. <laughs> but not never? <laughs> I mean, I've had a spoonful of honey. <laughs> yeah. But what if it was, say, your whole deal? <laughs> I made a cheese yesterday. <laughs> Oh, so you would be a cheesecake bear if you were in this game? <laughs> yes, yeah, I mean, I would do a lot for cheesecake. <laughs> would you send an entire extra platoon of soldiers on an additional scouting mission to find the materials for cheesecake? <laughs> Probably no. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with this bug? I'm playing as the German guy. I thought that he was using a sword, but his sword shoots out, like, beams, a la the master sword. Oh, he's got the Master Sword. Yeah, like when you're at full health with the Master Sword and it shoots out a beam. Return to dust. The oh, final blow. I have a special too. I think I just did like, Cloud's Omni Slash. Yeah, and but also Guile's Sonic Boom. <laughs> Uh, I think the sword is in the, uh, special category. Oh, is it? Oh, nice. This is easy to use. It's pretty good. Thousand damage. Yeah, that seems pretty alright. That was surprisingly long range. For a sword? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, that, that checks out. <laughs> a range above melee. It's, uh, very far above melee. <laughs> I just, I instinctively, when I see the red boxes, I have to pick them up. Because they, to me, say, permanent health increase. My hands are doing it. Like, I, I don't even have a choice in the matter. Your hands are taking control. Yeah. There was another hive, eh? I got this. But this one was silver and floating. Oh, a mothership. A ravager mothership. Can you take us there? You want me to take you to the hive I found? Yes. Well, okie doke. Come on, boy. Show us the way. Like, I mean, yeah. he's a dude in a suit. He's a person. Is it, <laughs> is it help? Like he's actually a talking bear and he's not. Is that helpful? I don't, I like, I guess in this situation we need him to lead us to the mothership, but are we feeding into an unhealthy situation? Can we just so ask him where it is? How about you yeah. Back my Can you tell us directions? We got two fencers? Oh yeah, we did. A green one and a gray one. They all bring the blast hole spear, though. That's non-negotiable. Yep. I mean, that's just standard issue fencer weapon. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Let the pale wing you. looks suspiciously like a Power Ranger. <laughs> Why is the Amigo brother wearing a large sombrero into combat? Because he's uh, what you might refer to as a stereotype. He also <laughs> right? has, like, a guitar on his back. Yep, he's got the full mariachi deal going on. He is a true amigo. <laughs> Don't God wants to know if the amigo brother takes a nap halfway through the level, like a siesta. Does he? Oh no! <laughs> I don't know. All right, mission twenty: the silver lining. Nice to meet you, Commander. This is Bruno, eh? I hope Saku shows up. Saku is Canadian, and I just wonder how accurate this is on a scale from perfectly accurate to real life. How accurate is this? I that Saku always wears a bear suit. If Saku doesn't have at least two bear suits, I'm going to be pretty disappointed. In Saku, <laughs> not in the game. <laughs> uh, this is Bruno, eh? Thanks for helping with my honey hunt. The EDF folks I met before weren't much fun to talk to, but you guys seem laid back. The next area's got a lot of uneven terrain. You'll be fine. Just don't look down, eh? Uh, Are we working on cartoon physics here? Yeah, as long as you don't look down, you never fall. Is that a handlebar mustache? I always think of that as like the Hetfield. 
I am not much help here. I am not well versed on mustache names. Yeah. I always thought of the, the handlebar as like the Victorian era cartoon villain where it like comes out to the side and maybe is waxed into a curl. I saw someone in real life with one of those like walking around my college and Oh gosh. I was like, that guy is definitely hundred percent a super villain. That guy's gonna tie somebody to the train tracks. Yeah. So do we think this guy doesn't have the brain capacity to understand spaceships? He could be a bear. But he's not. Did you just rescue a boxer? Yep. Nope, I rescued a matador. <laughs> of course. Oh yeah. The Master Sword is pretty good. Oh no. Yeah, the Master Sword's not bad. Yeah. You got that guy? Yeah, I'm trying to. I gotta let my jetpack recharge. I wonder if I can find a jetpack recharge rate booster of some kind. That's what I would put on this dude. Uh, I guess that'd be a cooldown reduction. Right. Viking? I wanna play as a Viking. He looks a lot like the Skyrim box art, just based on my <laughs> initial cursory look at him. Man, it looks good. He's not playing with a whole deck. That's a cry for help. He referred to the floating mothership as a giant beehive. He's not okay. Yeah. You're from the States, huh? That's right. I'm Cowboy Brother from the Republic of Texas, U.S. of A. I mean, not really. Not Texas? Yeah. And Lady and Grizzly. Well, then, shouldn't you be after salmon instead of me? Oh, no. Don't do this to him. <laughs> like, I feel like even an actual bear would realize that that flying thing in the sky is not a beehive. Right, if we got a, an actual bear, which just to be clear, Bruno, you are not. No, no, you are not a real bear. <laughs> I had to wait for my jetpack to... I wonder if it's worth having two jetpack troopers. Oh, it's just most of them don't really have the best weapons. Yeah, the weapons are really bad. What's this having to trade off mobility for other stuff? What I want is everything. Yeah. Time for Panda! Oh, there's Hectors on the board now. Oh, there are. Yeah. These lifts are so tall, my jetpack isn't enough. You're doing great! Yeah, Holy Lord. moly. <laughs> I'm trying to hit you with an airstrike. I will hit them with an airstrike. Nice. There! Okay. So he does know. Oh, it's time for my favorite thing, which is being the air raider and calling in the ultimate ability. Guess I have no choice. The rule of God. <laughs> but is defending the earth worth all this? I don't know what I'm doing, save me. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I just forgot how to play games for a bit there. I'm playing as the prowl rider. Oh, are you doing grappling hook stuff? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Which, uh, actually, that's pretty good for sending these clips. Because if yeah. you don't have to hit the top, she swings up. Double rainbow all the way across the sky. The rainbow is load-bearing. Yep. Just like real rainbows. Just claim it. Kids, do not <laughs> attempt to climb rainbows. <laughs> <laughs> right. It also deflects plasma projectiles like real rainbows. Hey, Bruno. You're pretty tough. How about joining us? Oh, no thanks. Can't say I want to do that, eh? Canada's a wonderful country. We can get along just fine on our own, even if the planet's in pieces. I feel like it's pretty dumb to be like, you know what? Our country is just fine, even though the planet is in pieces. Yeah. How are you going to do anything involving miso or soybeans? Yeah. Whoa. My pops, I mean, my trainer, oh, always said these fists weren't just for collecting belts. Okay. I could not sit and watch the planet suffer. I rode here fast as I could. Oh no, Viking Brothers voice is a <laughs> um. Perfect, I think is what you're looking for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, Operation Honey Grab. We're finally going up against the third mothership. I see a lot of the other large enemy signals down there, but this mission should be a piece of cake. My boss has prepared a secret weapon just for your team. What? What what you ask? I don't want to ruin the surprise. I got this. Here's the beehive. Oh my gosh, what is this dope looking mech suit? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's the Ravager mothership. Did you shoot me? No. Okay. I, uh, 
I hit my special ability because I thought I was playing with a wing diver and I just threw the a bomb. This one was the mothership uh -huh. from EDF 4. This one's the mothership from EDF 3. Oh. She is so, so aware. Joe wanted some defense against the bees? I asked HQ, and this is what they got us. Uh, but wait. The cockpit is wide open! Yeah, but look at how many guns it has. <laughs> oh, I guess I should probably attack the wasp nest. Well, I've just about used up all the ammo that comes inside the Battle Machine Vagalta. <laughs> Thanks, Battle Machine! See, isn't it nice that that was a surprise? Did it need to be a surprise? Yeah, because I'm not sure. that way, when you came into the level, you were like, Ooh, what's this? Oh, what's that? A Battle Mech, and then it exploded. That was also a part of the surprise! Ha <laughs> 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 Definitely not me. <laughs> just hitting buttons. More of these dark ones? Oh. oh. Evil bees. Oh, that's a big one. That's a really big one. Oh, Ellie, I just hit you with an airstrike. I'm right. Man, you have a big airstrike radius. Yeah. It's their queen. But if we defeat her, we'll be in honey town. Joe, what has happened to you? I, I don't know what's happening to Joe. Maybe he's trying to outweird the bear so that the bear will realize, like, oh, geez, I'm a person. I shouldn't be acting like this. Yeah, yeah. This thing is colossal. Oh, I got this. And nice. It's good. <laughs> we did it, partners. We got them bees good. Got them bees good. Hey, Bruno. It's time for that honey hoedown we promised you. That doesn't seem like something we can say. That sounds like against terms of service. Why so glum? Because he's not a real bear. <laughs> that queen was just protecting her family, you know. This time, we were the invaders. Uh, no. Uh. <laughs> there, there's dark mist coming out. The mothership's leaving. Never have before. There it is. <laughs> Cube Earth confirmed. Report from the scout yep. team. This area has been restored with the rest of the planet. Destroying an entire hive just for some honey? I regret what I've done. I'm no. going to binge watch some bear shows to see how a true bear that cares would act. Then you'll be a real bear. No. I guess joining the EDF is still uh, negatory. Maybe once I learn how to behave like a true bear. No, you're a human. I just don't know <laughs> about telling this dude he's a real bear. Yeah, he's <laughs> not. We did it. 